there more? Yeah. Look at all these where. ornaments. Oh. It is a Merry Christmas indeed. Um, I don't know either. I just put them everywhere. Oh, what? Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh. Are you doing that in slow motion? Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you. Michael first. So this doesn't have a two from on it. Yeah. I, I put one. There was one. <laughs> It's just blank. I don't know who to thank. A Chipotle gift card? How did you know? Thanks. You're welcome. Is this actual Chipotle foil? No, I thought about that actually. Could I get some of your foil? <laughs> to Michael from Lemon Diane. Charge hub. This is useful. Because I need to charge things often. The ability to charge up to seven USB devices simultaneously with one power supply. It has adjustable underglow. Ooh. This is to Michael from Stefan. Worthers? Oh boy. Sugar free, man. Sugar free Worthers! Uh, I walk into the SciShow office with relative frequency and ask where the Werther's are. And there's no more, so. And I ate them all. Personal supply. Thanks. That's to that's Michael that's from Stefan. Prevent yourself from <laughs> getting low. Battle Star Galactic. Battle Star Galactic. I don't know anything about the Daybreak Me expansion. Me neither, but it's the last one. Yep, and cool. We're ready. Thanks. So this is for Stefan. Uh, this is a specific order. It's very specific, yes. From Nicole, Michael, Mom, and Dad. Oh, that's a lot of people. It is a lot of people. I have no hair to this. <clears throat> I don't like when there's more than one camera on me while I'm <laughs> opening things. Uh, wow. Thank you. That's crazy. You did it. I, I did it. <laughs> I'm a professional. Got picked up by the bro, the bro's fiance. Hi. Hi. I got her a mug, a cow mug. It's two little caricature figurines. They're called pops. You know those things like the big Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have like six or seven as a, as a whole now. Are they um, of specific things? We have half of them as like Warcraft. I have like a Diablo one. Okay. And then I just got her a Voldemort one and then Rex from Toy Story. Nice. So we've arrived at my grandma's house. I haven't seen my grandma in years and years, and she doesn't know that I'm coming. So this is gonna be a surprise. Hi, grandma. Oh my gosh! Hi. Oh. You know what? I was gonna write here? you a letter. Uh-huh. And tell you, and tell you, yeah, have you the... forgotten who sweetheart you were? I haven't. But look at this kitty. Andre, Andre. Thank you. Hi, Kitty. What's this kitty's name? I bought some too. Bina. Bina? Look at that Christmas tree. I was up till 4 o'clock in the morning trying to get gifts wrapped, and I still didn't get it done. Wish we knew how many people we couldn't figure out how many people. It's Christmas morning. Why are you writing checks? But it's Christmas. It's part of uh, part of my Christmas. So I didn't get to shop for everyone. Across campus at 10 o'clock at night. Uh -huh. It's a gigantic keychain and a whistle. <laughs> <laughs> so 
honey pepper spray. Remember how long it used to take him to open his presents? How long it used to take him to open his presents? Oh, he'd undo his piece of tape. Unfold it very carefully. You can't tear it. It's yeah, just totally it would be not torn. And then sometimes he would fold yeah, the wrapping paper. Need. And all the while we're just like frothing. Just open the box. Open like, it. Maybe it's genetic. Like, like, when I go to Taco Bell, I'll finish a taco and like fold up the, the paper afterwards into a nice little triangle before I throw it away. <laughs> Look how cute he looks. He had a hunting coat. It was very similar to that. It was red. So look at the picture. Look at the picture of the on the blanket. It's a blanket. Look, Papa. It's a deer. Shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot it. <laughs> it's upside down. Uh, there you go. And his hunting hat and his deer yeah. blanket. No, that's called a bong wrench. It's called a bong wrench. I'm serious. That's the name of it. Bong. Bong. Oh, bun. Bung. <laughs> That's what I said, oh, bun. 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 And you, and you, you What's wrench. it for? It's, I got you one of those blue 55 gallon drums like Mother has Save for water. water. Oh my gosh. Remember how we were talking about it? I was going to get you one. Whatever. You can't I'm almost out. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Uh, Sorry, I can only get a little one. Every, every yeah, year she gets me, she refills me. Oh. What is it? Perfume, yeah. white oh, a super deluxe hose nozzle. Hey, that's mine. Oh, she oh, likes it. it. I, I don't like know if I don't know. I am not convinced. Oh, poor kitty. <laughs> so this is my aunt Terry and me Halloween of of what, like 1988 probably. What are you born? 1986. So is this my first Halloween? Yeah. I look too old there. No, you you just a baby. And look at when he stands up, Michael. He's got his pants on, his and pants. he's got that mane like a lion. When he stands up, you can see them real plain. <laughs> What's this kitty's name? Tom. Tom. Oh, yeah. he looked. Stand up so that they can see what a guy you are. Wow. See? Very majestic. <laughs> and such pants. Bye. And don't forget where Grandma lives. I'll be back soon. Yeah. You know, when we were younger, we had those holiday events that was a much grander scale. Yeah. And now, it's not. And I think it's just kind of like a more yeah. way of saying people are dying off, and that you know, this is all that's. People really also left. like go off and do their own thing. I mean, that's true, but you know, like our cousins are not living at home anymore. Our siblings are not living at home anymore. I think, as a kid, you have this sort of false sense that the way things are, that's the way things will always be. But life is in this constant state of flux, always changing. People are always entering your life and leaving your life. And it's much easier to see that when you're older. Yes. Having completed one holiday party, we are now gonna go meet up with the other grandparents. We've come to the Resurrection Cemetery where my mom and my aunt are in a crypt over there and my grandfather's parents are up on that hill so he's going to find their grave right now and put some put some flowers on it and then we're going to go say hello to my mom and my aunt and then then we're going to grandpa's brother's house your great uncle my great uncle's house for christmas things Obviously for mom. Mm -hmm. Entered into rest June 27, 2009. 2009. Okay. Figure that out. 
That was my job code in the Marine Corps. There's a lighthouse right here. You obviously can't really see it, much of it, but um, I was going to do a piece after Mom's song, Looking for the Lightning. Yeah. Some lightning and stuff. And then I have a guitar. Oh, good grief. <laughs> Kids these days. My grandfather was in the Coast Guard, Captain Melendrez. I haven't been back here since uh, we put my mom in the crypt. For whatever reason, I don't feel a strong attachment to physical places. I'm very happy to have items in my house that remind me of my mom and think of memories from when she was alive. But coming to this place, it doesn't mean nothing, but it, it isn't necessarily a stronger feeling than I could get otherwise. And so it's it's interesting how my grandparents, for example, like their connection to the physical location of where some of my mom's ashes are is very strong. I just get emotional because it just takes me back to like the event. Yeah. Grandpa is obviously very distressed that none of us grandkids go to church. The worst part about it is I feel guilty, not because I don't go to church, but because my life choices are causing him emotional distress. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, I want to be my own person and make my own choices, so I can't make a life choice just to make him happy. But I don't like that I make him sad. It's tough. I have a similar sort of relationship with dad, knowing that like he's disappointed that I am not a Christian. Disappointed is probably a vast understatement. It's just the way it goes. Or as Tupac would say, that's just the way it is. <laughs> Things will never be the same. Grandpa to some extent probably feels like he failed to instill something in his grandchildren. And I imagine that dad feels like he failed Fail. to instill Christianity in, it, in me. It's a weird kind of guilt that rests on my shoulders. Nah, I feel it. I almost said I don't care, but that's not the case. <laughs> but like, obviously I care. Grandpa was really not happy with the tattoos. <laughs> it's not anything I would choose for myself, but that's you do the, you. That's the beauty of it. It's on my skin, not yours yeah. or his. Anyway, we're going to my <laughs> grandfather's brother's house now for Christmas celebrations. I don't know, have I ever been there before? I think maybe we once. I think maybe we had a wake it's, there after a... either Debbie's or Mom's funeral. Yeah, both. Okay. Both uh, things were there. Um, they have a nice kitchen. Doggie, the doggy made a poo poo. Doggy. Hey, works for her. <laughs> well, we finished our second Christmas dinner festivity thing. You sleepy? You're getting tired. Good. I'm tired now too.